Hey everyone, this is Mr. Z and welcome to this AutoCAD 2018 tutorial where we're going to design an expert level isometric object. It's going to be the one here in the left. So take a look at it, feel free to take a screenshot, and we're just going to have it here in the side of our screen when we put this thing together. Okay, so let's get started. I'd like you to change from a top view over to a southwest isometric. I'd like you to make sure that your ortho mode is on, and then we're going to draw out the base first. So we got a 42 by 120 with a height of 10. So let's go ahead and just replicate that. We're going to use the line tool, LI, for line, enter. Click on a point, and we're going to go out 42, enter, zoom out just a hair, go up a total of 120. Okay, we're going to press escape so I can zoom out a little bit more, then enter to reactivate the tool. Go over there, 42, and then back to the starting point right there. Once I've done that, I'll use the join command, join, enter. Select the entire object, enter to join it all together, and then extrude it out, EXT, enter that object, enter, and go upward a total of 10 units, like so. We have two circles on the bottom, one there and one hidden over there. Space 21 apart and 90 from each other. So if they're 90 from each other from 120, that means they're 15 away from each edge. So let's go ahead and draw one of them. CIR for circle, enter, hover over this plane so that it lights up. And then we're going to use the reference point, the midpoint here, to kind of draw the start of this circle. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a radius, since it says 15 over there. I'm going to give this a radius of 7.5, enter. So it looks something like that. And then I'm going to use the move command. Whoops. Move. Enter, select the object, enter. I'm going to move it from there up here, a total of 15 units, enter, like so. Then I'm going to use the mirror command, mirror, enter, select that, enter, and I'm going to find the midpoint there to mirror it onto the other side, like so. I'm not going to erase the original, but I am going to extrude both of them, EXT, enter, one, to enter, extrude it through the object like so, escape twice, and then subtract SUB, enter, select the bigger object, enter, and then select the two smaller objects, enter, to cut those out. Next we're going to draw this trunk over here, so let's start with this. I'd like you to imagine it's a rectangle, starting from the bottom and going all the way up to the center of this, and that is a total of 105 units minus the base of 10, so that is going to go up a total of 95 from this base here, and it's got a thickness of 60. Okay, so the line tool, L for line, I'm going to go over to this plane here, find the midpoint, and drive out this direction, total of 30, enter, then I'm going to go up, in this direction, a total of 6, enter, over here, total of 60, enter, then down back to the line, and then I'm going to connect that. Okay, so that's that rectangle. If you look over here, you're going to see an additional rectangle, and what we know about that is that it has a thickness, since it's all extended, including this like rib over here, a thickness of 6. So starting from the center, let's go ahead and draw that one in as well. So line, click on the center with that plane highlighted. We're going to go across here, total of 3 units, enter. Then we're going to go upward, a total of 36 units. Okay, so it meet, should meet the edge, then across, six units, back over towards the rectangle, a total of 36 units, and then connect it all together. And it's a little hard to see with all that in the way, but it should look something like that. Let's go ahead and join everything. So I'm going to use the join tool to join these surfaces together. Okay, so that's one of them. 
I'm going to press enter again to reactivate the join tool and join these surfaces together. Enter. Okay, escape twice. Let's go ahead and extrude it out a total of 95. So EXT, enter. This one, that one, enter. Go up, 95 units, enter. Escape twice. Now we can go ahead and position the circle. So the circle is sticking out a total of six units, but because we measured that rectangle up to the top, the center of this is kind of the center of where the circle starts. We just need to offset it by six units. And then I'm going to go down and I'm going to build this rib over here, and then we're going to put in the circle. So starting with the line tool, L for line, go over to here, and I really need this plane to be selected. So make sure that plane's selected and then kind of go outward this way. Total of six units, enter. Then I'm gonna go across a total of three units because it's half of this six over here. So I'm gonna type in three, enter. A total of half of 70, since I'm in the center. So half of 70, the diameter is 35. So I'm gonna go down 35 units like so. Then I'm going to go inward towards the object. Try to move it so you can see it better. A total of the distance of the rib, so that's six. Okay, then downward, a total of everything except the end. So 20 plus 35 is 55, minus 105 is 50. So I'm going to go down a total of 50 enter like so and then I'm just gonna go and connect it to this point here so might be a little hard to see but that's the rib that's this portion right there okay now we can go ahead and draw out the circles so C for circle enter and starting at this center point here I'm gonna draw out a circle the first one's gonna have a radius of 30 enter then enter again, and the second one is going to have a radius of 35, enter, and those two now can match those two. Let's go ahead and extrude the additions. So first we got to join these three lines together, I make up that rib, enter, and then I'm going to use the extrude command, EXT, enter to select that, and go this direction, a total of six. And then I'm going to also go ahead and select the outer ring. We're going to extrude that according to this from one end to the other end, a total of 44. Okay, I'm going to do the same with the inner ring, a total of 44. And now let's add this top portion over here. So we know it's 28 wide, starting from the center of that circle. It goes 42 up, and from the center, it looks like it is traveling a total of 32 units up there. So this is going to be a little tricky, but bear with me. L for line, enter. Then at this point over here, before that 6 is extruded, I'm going to go out in this direction. A total of 14, enter, which is half of that number. That's why I did it. Now I'm going to go up a total of 42, enter. Then I'm going to go to the side here, a total of 32. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Okay, like so. I'm gonna press escape twice. That is where the circle needs to be. I'm gonna go UCS to move my plane over to this point here. I need my X and my Y facing the correct direction. So I clicked up and then clicked to the side. I put my X, Y, Z so it's facing the way I wanna put the circle. And then C for circle, enter. And I'm gonna click there and draw a circle of radius 6 because that's 12 so I'm going to type in 6 enter so it looks something like that and then let's go ahead and draw out the edges as well so I'm going to go out with a line L enter from this point a total of 14 units 14 enter down a total of let's see that's 42 and it actually just enters the part. So let's just go down the full 42 and we'll fix it from there. So, so I'm starting to get a lot of lines here, but 42, then I'm going to go across 28, 
then up, 42, enter, and then connect it back together like so. Press escape twice, draw one more circle, circle, C, enter, and this circle is going to match there. So it should have a radius of 7 or a diameter of 14, like so. Then I'm going to use the trim command, trim, enter, select everything there, enter, and I'm going to trim off this portion, that portion, and that portion like so. So hopefully you can see this shape starting to form. Okay, and let's go ahead and finish this up in part two. I'll see you then. Peace.